Hey guys, I'm Dale, I'm one half of the Lure Critic. Uh, anyone who's been uh, sort of keeping track of what we do on Facebook, uh, you uh, would see that we just you know, basically do little lure reviews and fish and tackle reviews, anything we can get our hands on. Uh, you might have seen just recently, I showed you some photos about the uh, internal frame of a jackal mask lure. Now I actually got my hands on something very interesting today because this is the frame of a jackal mask. That there is the genuine article right there. That's a jackal mask, jackal mask vibe. But I got my hands on this today. Now I'll just show you something. <coughs> nice and creepy fun. Just pop this, pop this jackal mask out of here. Get him out of the road. That there is a jackal mask. Okay. That there. is not a jackal mask. That is a Kokoda lure. Now just to, to put it into perspective, these things look exactly the same. Like they look identical. I mean when you look at them you can see a couple of differences like they've got different trebles on them. Um, but when you actually just look at them just like that, they look identical. $30 lure, less than $7 in most tackle stores. So. It's a massive difference. Okay, so here's these two lures. Now basically, I mentioned the other day when I put the photo up of, the, uh, of this frame, um, I've also got the frame of the, uh, of the Trans Am there still as well, so same sort of thing. Um, but when I, I mentioned the other day when I put these photos up um, about the, the difference in quality and what you get when you pay $30 for the genuine article as opposed to a couple of dollars for the copy. Um, straight up, like I said, they are virtually identical. When you look at them, they're the same, but you can see differences. The, the cheaper version, basically, it, it uses cheaper hooks, it uses cheaper split rings. Um, so basically, cheaper hardware all around, and you can see that straight away when you look at it. That's, that's the number one thing. Obviously, your Jackal, it's using, uh, it's using sort of like owner quality um, hardware all over it. Now one other thing that I noticed, the very first thing I noticed when I pulled these out of the packaging, the cheaper version is incredibly stiff compared to the Jackal version, the genuine version. Now the Jackal, if you can see there, it's, it's very soft. Now that comes from that frame there being made of cable, a seven strand cable type material. Now you might not be able to see it, but that thing just flicks from side to side. Now it's very soft, that means that whole body is very soft, you can, you can flex it in half. Number one thing I noticed with this cheaper version, they don't use that soft cable system inside. From what I can see there, it is actually a solid piece of wire. Now I can't bend that at all, like if I bend it, I'll bend that wire and it'll actually stay there. Like I can bend that little tiny bit of the tail but that's only because there's nothing in there. The actual body of this lure is rigid. Um, and you can also feel it in the quality of the plastic. The plastic is not as soft as the genuine plastic on this jackal mask. Um, now, a lot of people might think, well, you know, that's good. If, you, if you're chasing fish with a lot of teeth and that sort of thing, the plastic will stand up to it a lot better. That's not necessarily the case. This is still a very good quality plastic and I've seen some real toothy fish eat these things and not make any difference. You might actually find that a stiffer plastic is easier for them to penetrate and tear, whereas a softer plastic, they might penetrate it, but it tends to not tear so bad, so it stays together. So that's something to think about. But I'll, show, I'll see if I can show you. Like, this is so rigid. This one with, the, with, that, with that flexible wire frame, you can see that it bends. So if it's inside a fish's mouth and bends, Bam, straight back, ready for the next fish. Now I'll see, I haven't tried anything with this thing at all yet. I've literally, that's, I've taken it out of the packet for the first time just now. Um, but basically, I think I, I think I can show you something. If I bend that, I think you'll find that it will actually stay <laughs> just like that. And that's because it uses a rigid piece of wire instead of that, instead of that uh, flexible cable frame. So you can see that that's a perfect example. Now you get that in a fish's mouth, obviously that's going to affect the lure. It's not ready to go, you know, straight out of the fish's mouth. And I think you'll find once you bend these sort of things once, you can never get them exactly perfect again. Now that's pretty good. I mean, I've just bent that back. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Honestly, for, for something that's going to cost you literally less than a third the price, I mean, you can't really complain.
but these are just things I just I just wanted to show you the difference what you what you get when you pay a couple of dollars for a you know a cheaper version compared to paying top dollar for the genuine versions you know there's there's little things like that that people quite over, quite often overlook so I just wanted to show you that but what I'm actually going to do because I've got the frame the internal frame of this jackal of one of these jackals so you can see that's that's the whole body that's the whole fella that's his frame that's what he looks like without his without his clothes on um, so I've got him and I've got the frame out of a Trans Am I want to have a look at the frame of one of these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust this fella out. so I've got the trusty knife here so we're just going to uh, we're just going to hack in body there so I'm just going to going to see if I can, I want to try and actually get this out without wrecking the body too much, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'll just, I'll just cut it. We'll see what happens. We'll just cut him open and see how we go. And the good thing about these is, um, you know, they're they're very soft, so you can almost fillet the bloody thing the way you'd fillet a fish. Um, if I ever see anyone filleting a fish this disgracefully, um, you know, I'll disown you because it's not good enough should all fill a fish much much better than this but um, yeah look without without taking the trebles off it's actually going to be a little bit difficult to uh, get this thing out without completely destroying it so I might as well just get right in there and just destroy it so there it is now straight away once I've got this open straight away so there's the body you know nice nice Fillet of uh, fillet of vibe um, straight away. You can see that wire's still actually got a really severe kink in it from where I bent it the first time and bent it back straight. Now, like I said, I thought it looked pretty good, but once you get it out, it's not like that's got a big kink in it. Um, but you can also just see the quality of the frame, the quality of the lead. Um, you know, I mean, straight up, that's that speaks for itself. That is just the most basic stamped piece of lead it's got a tiny little bit of flash attached to it which I can just tear off I mean you know that, that the jackal doesn't have the flash but I mean it's got a lot more in the actual in the body if you ask me but you can see there that lead itself get off me that lead itself is just a, a very basic thin stamped piece of lead you know they've bent the wire into the shape that they needed it to be bent in and then the, the leads just stamped around it uh, you can straight away you can see the difference in the quality there so that's really good. I wanted to I wanted to show you that because I want people to see what they actually get, what the difference is that they're getting when they buy the genuine thing for thirty dollars, as opposed to you know I've got another I've got another one here. That's how cheap these things are. I can just buy them hand over fist. The uh, <laughs> compared to the um, the cheaper version. Okay, so you know your genuine item, you know has has your better quality hardware. You can clearly see it's got a much better design frame. Um, now, whether whether you know things like all the the shape and shape and everything in the frame is something that you need, you know, I, I honestly don't think it is. It's not something that you need. The fish don't see that when it's swimming. Um, you know, like the, I I don't think the fish are going to bite it and go, oh, I can't feel a gill plate on that one. I don't want to eat it. You know, that that I don't think that's going to happen. But you can still see where your money's going. That's where your money's going. Um, but I'll tell you what, one thing that really does stand out for me is that backbone. That cable, that seven strand cable backbone that, that is used in the Jackal compared to the solid rigid wire backbone in the cheaper version, right there. That right there is a perfect reason why I am more than happy to drop $30 every day on one of these as opposed to $30 on four of these because that's what you get that's the quality that you're getting righto so there you go guys there's uh, just a little insight for you just showing you a few of the differences between your genuine item and your, your cheaper versions that are available on the market um, when we uh, refer to the genuine item being a jackal mask a jackal mask vibe um, obviously like uh, like I said you know your body body the body material the colors available it's all, uh, they're all very similar, so body-wise, you know, you're getting a very similar product, but uh, it's when you, you know, quite literally dive deeper into the lure that you see where the real difference lies and where the real difference in money lies. Um, the Jackal obviously has a lot more 
uh, you know, a lot more design and that sort of stuff involved in it um, than uh, than what your cheaper versions do. 